after studying this module you shall be able to know about the significance of drug poisoning the forensic issues related to drug poisoning and the analysis of exhibits in cases of drug poisoning now students we will start with the introduction the classic description of toxicology has conventionally been assumed to be as the study of xenobiotics the science of poisons and talks about particularly to the interaction of exogenous agents with biological systems for purposes of establishing the nomenclature chemicals compounds and drugs are often mentioned as agents or substances drugs are chemicals taken for psychological or other effects and may cause dependence and toxicity a lot of these are illegal but some are of clinical importance when used appropriately generally all drugs are toxic at some doses drug poisoning death include death resulting either from inadvertent or premeditated overdoses of a drug or being given the incorrect drug or taking a drug in mistake or taking a drug carelessly drugs that are used for the treatment of diseases in higher doses will produce toxicity this every drug is potentially a poison when used erratically the overdosage of the drug commonly occurs accidentally intravenous injections carries the highest risk of accidental overdosage physicians prescribe drugs to prevent or treat disease drugs can be toxic to certain patients however because of the genetic susceptibility non selective action or inappropriate usage or the administration of the drug it must be recognized that no drug is entirely explicit all drugs have primary intended effects and secondary unintended effects the latter known as side effects or adverse effects now we will study about the forensic issues although all drugs may have obvious effects whether positive or negative on humans but drugs of abuse have no curative function or either if they have they may cause harmful effect when taken at higher than their therapeutic doses some drugs of abuse may affect only higher nervous functions that is mood reaction time coordination but may produce physical dependence and have serious physical effects with fatal overdose being a common manifestation even the therapeutic drugs can be toxic at certain dosage the risk to the patient is dependent upon the nature of the toxic response the dose required to produce the toxic response and the relationship between the therapeutic and the toxic dosage drug toxicity is affected by all of those factors that affect the toxicity of xenobiotics including the genetic variation diet age and the presence of other exogenous chemicals the risk of toxic side effects from a particular drug must be evaluated against the estimated benefits the use of a moderately unsafe drug with only a narrow tolerance between the therapeutic and toxic doses might well be warranted if it is the only treatment for an otherwise fatal disease for example the cytotoxic agents used in the treatment of cancers are known as carcinogens most cases that enter a forensic toxicology laboratory start with the suspicion that a drug or poison is present a fatality might be an accident suicide or murder but a toxicological examination must be carried out to assist the investigating officer to decide which of these it might be 
often the investigating officer will not know whether or not any offence has been committed until the results of the toxicological analysis are available. The toxicologist stereotypically refers to the result of these preliminary tests as presumptive. That is, there is a strong indication that a particular substance or class of substances may be present, but further tests are required to confirm the identity of the particular substance. The detection of the drug is the most difficult part as the nature of the drug may not be known. Hence, toxicologists employ screening tests for a wide range of drugs. General screening methods are usually more flexible than other special methods and can therefore be applied to a wide variety of materials. An essential part of any investigation involving drugs is the misinterpretation of toxicological data. The onset, duration and intensity of action of a drug after administration are controlled by the rate at which the drug reaches its site of action, by the concentration of the drug and by the sensitivity of the individual to the drug. Next, we will study about the classification of the drugs. Starting first is the narcotics. The term narcotic is derived from the Greek word narcotikos, which implies as a state of lethargy or sluggishness. Narcotic drugs are those substances which gives relief from pain and induce sleep, but generally not acceptable. They act on the central nervous system and produce an altered state of mind of the subject. Drugs which interact with those receptors in the brain are responsible for the transmission and response to pain are known as narcotic analgesics or simply narcotics which are opium alkaloid both natural and synthetic like morphine, codeine and monoacetyl and diacetyl morphine. On the contrary, the peripheral analgesics, for example, aspirin, have no abuse potential and nowadays various designer synthetic analgesics, which are pethidine, mepridine, methadone, fentanyl, have come up. They produce physical and psychological dependencies, which depends on the drug narcotic form, produces mainly central nervous system uh, symptoms such as giddiness, Precordial distress, tenderness of muscles, delirium, dilated pupils, and complete paralysis of muscles at times. Opium is one of the major narcotic substances by which various other powerful narcotic drugs. Next in line are the depressants or sedatives. Depressants, which are often referred as the Central depressants are psychoactive drugs that temporarily reduce the neurotransmission levels resulting in retardation in arousal or stimulation in either mental or physical functions or both. The effects that depressants generally exert may include pain relief, sedation, cognitive or memory impairment as well as in some instances, euphoria, muscle relaxation, lowered blood pressure, dissociation, respiratory depression, anticonvulsant effects and even complete anesthesia or death at high doses. Due to their rendering a characteristic low feeling, the depressants are also occasionally referred to as downers. Depressants have a marked contrast to that of the stimulants or better known as uppers which boost up the mental or physical function or both. So both of these are considered to be functionally opposite. Depressants are extensively used throughout the world as prescription medicines and even without prescription both as legal and illicit substances. As depressants calm down the mental and physical processes in body, they can be useful in the treatment of certain medical conditions. 
but this property of certain drugs also makes them attractive to recreational drug users. These medications have many adverse side effects and there is a high potential for addiction associated with the risk of destroying their mental and physical health. This group comprises all of the tranquilizing, sleep-inducing, stress-reducing, sedating substances which occasionally brings perceptual uh, alterations like dream pictures and also frequently induce sensation of euphoria, example the alcoholic beverages or ethanol, barbiturates, benzodiazepines, etc. Next are the stimulants. Stimulants which are often referred to as the psychostimulants are the psychoactive drugs that temporarily induce improvements in either mental or physical functions or both. The effects that stimulants generally exert may include enhanced alertness, wakefulness and locomotion. Due to their rendering a characteristic up feeling, stimulants are also occasionally referred to as uppers. Stimulants have a marked contrast to that of the depressants or downers, which decrease the mental or physical function or both, and so both of these are considered to be functionally opposite. Stimulants are widely used throughout the world as prescription medicines and even without prescription both as legal and illicit substances. As stimulants speed up the mental and physical processes in the body, they can be useful in the treatment of certain medical conditions. But this property of certain drugs also makes them attractive to recreational drug users. These medications have many adverse side effects and there is a high potential for addiction associated with a risk of destroying their mental and physical health. Next in line are the hallucinogens. Hallucinogens are also known as psychedelics or psychotomimetic agents are substances that induce changes in thought, perception and mood without causing major disturbances in the autonomic nervous system. Perceptual alterations can take the form of illusion, synesthesias or hallucinations. An illusion is the result of misinterpretation of an actual experience while synesthesias are sensory misperceptions, example hearing, color or seeing sounds. Both requires the external stimuli for their institution. Hallucinations differ from them in this important respect since they are perceptual alterations without any external stimulation whatsoever. The hallucinations may be visual, auditory, olfactory, gustatory or tactile in nature. Most hallucinogens induce the visual or auditory hallucinations. A few cause tactile or the olfactory manifestations. While a number of therapeutic drugs can cause hallucination in overdosage, they are not classified as hallucinogens. A true hallucinogen is a drug that induces hallucinations in small doses, sometimes as in the case of LSD in microgram doses. Most genuine hallucinogens cause intense visual hallucinations while the other types of hallucinations are relatively infrequent. Drugs with hallucinogenic properties have an obvious deleterious effect on driving. The inability to distinguish illusion from reality results in poor decision making and consequently poorer driving. Drugs such as psilocybe mushrooms, mescaline, lysergic acid diethylamide or LSD, ketamine and PCP can produce hallucinations seeing objects, shapes or individuals that are not present and synesthesias or blending of sensory information such as seeing sounds or hearing colors. Ketamine and its psychomotor effects on driving have been evaluated also. 
Many other drugs can produce milder hallucinations including as noted earlier the cannabis and stimulants. Methylene dioxy substituted amphetamine such as MDMA, methylene dioxy amphetamine that is MDA or methylene dioxy amphetamine that is MDEA can also produce hallucinations particularly tactile ones that enhance sensitivity to touch. However, the major impairing effects of that class of compounds appear more related to their excitatory and stimulant properties. Next, we will study about drug poisoning. Poisoning is one of the most important causes of death. Drugs both prohibit and pharmaceutically are the main cause of poisoning deaths. Misuse or abuse of the prescription drugs including opioid analgesic pain relievers is responsible for much of the recent increase in drug poisoning death. Drug poisoning often occurs in the accidental drug overdose cases. In generally, it occurs when incorrect drug or combination of drugs is taken in a mistaken amount or at the wrong time or without knowing that it could cause them harm. The premeditated misuse is also one of the cause of drug poisoning in which a person takes an overdose to get a high or to inflict self-harm. There are various factors uh, influencing the drug poisoning. Starting with the first, we have the on-target effects. An important concept in drug toxicity is that an adverse effect may be an exaggeration of the desired pharmacologic action due to alterations in exposure to the drug. This can occur by deliberate or accidental dosing error by alterations in the pharmacokinetics of the drug example due to liver or kidney disease or to interaction with other drug or by the changes in the pharmacodynamics of the drug receptor interaction that alter the pharmacologic response example changes in the receptor number also changes can lead to an increase in the effective concentration of the drug and thus to an increased biological response next is the off-target effects off-target adverse effects can occur when the drug interacts with unintended targets. Indeed, very few drugs are so selective that they interact with only one molecular target. Enantiomers that are the mirror image of the isomers of a drug can also cause the off-target effects. Next are the production of toxic metabolites. Virtually all drug molecules are metabolized by the liver and or other tissues. Sometimes metabolism produces a pharmacologically active metabolite. A drug metabolite can have an adverse effect. A clinically significant example is that of the acetaminophen, a commonly used analgesic and antipyretic. Next is the idiosyncratic reaction. Idiosyncratic drug reactions are rare adverse effects for which no obvious mechanism is apparent. These idiosyncratic reactions are often thought to reflect unique uh, individual genetic differences in the response to that of the drug molecule, possibly through variations in drug metabolism or immune response. Next is pharmacokinetic drug-drug interaction. Pharmacokinetic interactions between drugs arise if one drug changes the absorption, distribution, metabolism or excretion of another drug, thereby altering the concentration of active drug in the body. Drugs can inhibit or induce hepatic P450 enzymes. If two drugs are metabolized by the same P450 enzyme, the competitive or irreversible inhibition of the P450 enzyme by one drug can lead to an increase in the plasma concentration of the second drug. Next is the pharmacodynamic drug-drug interaction. The pharmacodynamic interactions arise when one drug changes the response of the target or 
non-target tissues to another drug. The toxic pharmacodynamic interactions can occur when two drugs activate complementary pathways leading to an exaggerated biological effect. The co-exposure to the two drugs increases CGMP to an even greater degree increasing the risk of severe hypotension. And last point is the drug herb interactions. The safety and efficacy of a drug may also be altered by co-exposure with various non-pharmaceuticals such as foods, beverages and herbal and other dietary supplements. Many herbal products are complex mixtures of biologically active compounds and their safety and effectiveness can rarely be tested in controlled studies. Next, we will study about the forensic examination starting with the presumptive or the color test. There are several color tests which can be applied to the viscera extract to identify the exact class of drug responsible for death. In this table on one column we have shown the reagent, on second column we have shown the class compounds. Starting with the first reagent we have formaldehyde sulfuric acid and the class compounds are the benzodiazepines and phenothiazine. For FPN reagent it is phenothiazines. For iodoplatinate solution it is alkaloids. For Copani Zwicker test it is sulfonamide. For forest reagent it is phenothiazines, imipramine and the related compounds. For Myquis reagent it is benzodiazepines. For cobalt thiocyanate it is methaquilon, PCP, cocaine and heroin. For antimony pentachloride it is beta methasone, dexamethasone. For copper sulfate it is sulfonamide. For mercurous nitrate it is sulfonamide with an additional ring. For Dragendorff's reagent it is alkaloid or primary or secondary or tertiary amine. Next in line is the chromatographic techniques. Since a drug is a compound of complex molecular structure and during its metabolism it may transform into a relatively new compound which makes the original drug to be identified exactly. However, for the confirmation of a drug in the viscera extract, the instrumental techniques or methods can be employed to get accurate results. Generally, the chromatographic techniques that are employed for this purpose are the thin layer chromatography or TLC, high performance thin layer chromatography or HPTLC, gas liquid chromatography or GLC and high performance liquid chromatography or HPLC. Now summary, any product or substance including medications can be harmful if it is used in the wrong way by the wrong person or in the wrong amount and all drugs are toxic at some dosage. A poisoning can occur from that substance by eating, drinking, breathing or injecting it and getting it on the skin or getting it in the eyes. A drug overdose is considered as a poisoning. Among deaths attributed to drugs, the most common drug categories are cocaine, heroin, and a type of prescription drug called opioid painkillers. The clinical drugs are even more poignant examples because although therapeutic and highly beneficial at some doses, they are not without the deleterious side effects and may be lethal at higher doses. Drug toxicity is affected by all of the factors that affect the toxicity of other xenobiotics including the individual, genetic variation, diet, age and the presence of other exogenous chemicals. Each drug produces a number of effects but usually only one effect is associated with the primary objective of the therapy. All other effects are referred to as the undesirable or side effects of that drug for that therapeutic indication.